Rub your butt there. Rub it out. Rub, it Rub one out. out. Rub it out. <laughs> I'm having Rub these goddamn. Good day, I'm Evan, and welcome to Gaming Gaming Game. Joining me on the show this week, it's Ben Russell. I'm Ben Russell. <laughs> and Geraldine Quinn. I'm Geraldine Quinn. <laughs> and Dave Callan. Howdy. <laughs> he don't know his name. <laughs> we'll have cowboy hats. I'm Roger. True. Why do we have cowboy hats? Because Beck organised for us to have cowboy hats. Thanks, Beck. Thank you. Oh, no we're talking reason. About, no reason, sorry. It, there must be a connection to uh, A Quiet Man or something. Uh, yes. <laughs> the quiet Maybe man. Spider-Man's DLC. Maybe. Maybe. Um, one of the new things we're doing for Patreon, we've changed the Patreon a little bit, right? And one of the new things we're doing is that people uh, can ask questions of the panel. Questions? Yeah. Okay. What are they? Um, and if people can also vote on the questions uh, to decide which, which question. So I'll answer a question every week on the show. Wait a minute. They have to ask questions and then everyone has to vote on the question. Yeah. So, hey, so can they just say a question? They could, but then there'd be too many questions. Oh, yeah. Um, like, like this. Yeah. You're asking, you're asking too many questions. <laughs> so you're screening the questions. No, no, no. It's not screened. It's, it's, screened it's by decided the by the public. Yeah, That's right. It. Yeah. And can we vote on their vote? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, their How vote. Would that work? Let's have a say on their vote. Yeah. All right, well, what do you think of this question? Uh, Adam Giambattista asks, how long has everyone known each other and how? Oh. That's probably the most boring Goodness. question. Of, to, sorry, that's mean. Who's but like 14 people voted for this question. Really? Um, yeah. The, the, the public have spoken. Yeah. And they want to know the 14 people answer. can't be wrong. As the old well, I, I can. <laughs> uh, yeah, Completely, yeah. 14. More than 14 people. Yeah. Um, I've known Ben for about 10 years. 10 years. Uh, We're Perth boys. Of course, you're from yeah. Perth. Yeah. yeah, maybe longer, maybe. I would go as high as 11. You're insane. Yes, 11 <laughs> and six months. Yeah. <laughs> and correct. And I've known Evan for about, I reckon, four years. Yeah, no, maybe. three. The first thing that we kind of properly worked together on was the this Taylor Swift Shake oh, It Off yeah. parody video. When was that? Yeah, that was, uh, about th that was three years ago. Yeah, three right. and a half, yeah. But I became aware of you through reputation as an asshole. <laughs> Uh, Geraldine, I've hey, known... that's my brand. <laughs> Geraldine Quinn. I've known you nearly, nearly 20, I think. I've known you 10. Um, Our for... first thing was the Camel Toe video, I think? Yes. Was a music video for Geraldine. Yes, which has got about 70,000 views, which is technically <laughs> viral. <laughs> but it only took a yeah. Ben, I think I've been known for a few. Yeah. Uh, How long have we known each other? Four or five. About four. Yeah, yeah. I've only been. I heard of you when you, you, someone said Ben Russell wants to have an office in a studio. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know who Ben Russell is. Yeah. And I didn't yeah. like the look of you. Who is this guy? Really? Yes. But I knew Maggie, I think. And I'm like, well, I think you can't be that bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I love it. But then, but then. I'm yeah. feeling attacked. <laughs> You got it, guy. But then I got to know you, and you're uh, you're a very nice guy. See, I'm nice. I'm a nice man. Yeah, despite your uh, reputation as an asshole. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which I still do my best to <laughs> uphold. It, yeah, it's the Machiavellian mustache. Yeah, <laughs> you look like a fucker. <laughs> I'm dastardly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I agree with all of your uh, things. Summations. Check out. Thank you, Thank you for your question. Thank you for your question, Adam. Adam. Um, if if you want to ask a, a question, if you'd like, a, a, you know, to ask something, that then we, you can we do it. Just um, you, you, just, you have to be on the ten dollar Patreon tier. That's the thing. Ah, uh, that's the catch. Can, that's, that's the catch. Pay the money, ask the question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or you can ask right questions here. of yourself yes. uh, and of loved ones at any point. Don't <laughs> free. wait around. Ask those questions. Yeah. Don't it's only if you want to answer it on the show. It's only if you want to answer it on the show that you have to be on the, the Patreon yeah. tier. Uh, but you, if you don't have any questions, but you're interested in having a say on which question does get answered, yeah. you can just vote on the questions. Or you can make a statement and <laughs> it will be disqualified. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great. Go to patreon.com slash gaming. Oh, so the other thing is the, that, that um, we're, we're putting up the cheat sheets. So what we have in our hands all the time on the show are the cheat sheets that uh, Beck writes up each week and it has lots of great information for us to refer to or to ignore, depending on how the episode's going. Yeah. Um, I don't have it in my hands all the time because I know everything. Yeah, now. Dave just knows but it all. He's Beck a does a great job. Yep. You fly by the city of your pants. Uh, there's lots of great little bits and pieces in there and, and, um, and sometimes people scribble on them and we'll, we'll, you can see that as well, if you want. It's very well formatted. Mm. Yeah, I think yeah. it's... It, it is delightful. 
Yeah. Anyway, has so it's nailed the bullet points. So the, the ten dollar tier, you uh, you also get cheat sheets, which is that's, that's pretty good, eh? Anyway, this week we're going to take a look at the Quiet Man and Red Dead Redemption Two. Um, but first, Dave, you've been playing uh, you've been playing the, the new Spider Man DLC. Yes, I completed it on my own as a big boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. How substantial is it? I haven't played. It's it. not very substantial. It's quite short, and it ends on a cliffhanger. Making you, you kind of want to or, or uh, feel compelled to buy the next part of the DLC that's coming out. Do you know how many they're doing? Three. Three, okay. Yeah. So um, I didn't want to get all of them. I just wanted the this one because Black Cat was in it. I grew up on the comics and quite liked um, the dynamic between, nerd, between <laughs> Spider-Man and Black Cat. <laughs> it's really well written. I think they've, um, they've spoken to the comic book creators or writers or they're just really well versed in the lore and they've created a great um, a great bit of drama between those two and then of course Mary Jane who's there as well without giving any spoilers away mm. and the gameplay itself is great it's again more of the same you know mm. more of the same kind of combat challenges and kind of um, stealth bits but just the same better food. than the core game I reckon. Yeah, right. mm. a step up I will say this if you're going to play it uh, and I recommend it I, I would give it a solid 8 or 9 out of 10 Make sure you complete the initial campaign first, because there's a, a lot of spoilers. They kind of they they go back over what just happened in in Manhattan, and uh, also mm. you really need all your skills to be you know right, at the yeah. top to be able to handle a lot of the the combat. Anyway, just to finish off, you can't yes. play as Black Cat, and I thought that's weird. Like you can't play as oh, right. new character. She's just kind of like a you know in the background, and she kind of helps you out and stuff. But you can't actually be her, which is weird because you can be Mary Jane Parker. But she has no weapons. She just right. kind of throws lures to distract people. Mm. But Black Cat actually has skills. It's a shame. Yeah, missed opportunity. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, Send your commiserations. <laughs> <Love that>. 109. <laughs> the pros disappointed. News Comment down. below. What do you think is Spider-Man the heist uh, DLC? Let us know in the comments. Or, or don't. You actually don't have to. You no, don't no, have no, you to. don't. Yeah. You can do what you want. No, but <laughs> like we're not your Amazing. boss. But it would yeah. be nice. If yeah, you, true. You don't want to. Go too far. No. You know? I'll, I will read three of them if it helps. Dave will read three of them. Maybe we'll read them out on next week's show. I will not. I <laughs> refuse to read them. Okay. I can't read. <laughs> um, <laughs> what do you think of this? Uh, Pottery Vine in the US have come out with a new range of living room furniture inspired by PlayStation. Uh, have you seen this, guys? This is yeah. so. This is. No, I didn't get this till I was on the way in. So, no, I haven't I seen this. I didn't get the meme what, either. This? But I'm going out on a limb and saying silly. It's well. I'm gonna cast my vote. Mm. Like it's a particular aesthetic that that maybe <laughs> um, Xbox people won't like. See right oh, there. Sure. <laughs> See in this photo, there's a family, and that's misleading. That's <laughs> because no one with a <laughs> no one that gets this has a family <laughs> or loved ones. <laughs> They're just alone. No one's going to the wife. <laughs> Let's get some PSX. Breast. You're getting it. <laughs> um, you it's got a dog and friends and people that care about you. Yeah. No one. Even the dog wouldn't get on the beanbag. <laughs> nah. You're like, you're a nerd. The beanbag, so there is a beanbag. It costs 250 US dollars for a beanbag, right? There's also uh, the gaming media console, which is which is that... Um, oh, yeah, like a... That, that sort of yeah. big piece uh, in that, that main image there. It's quite um, nice. It's eleven hundred US, so it's quite expensive. Um, it's ugly. You could get, you could buy wood for fifty buck down yeah. at Bunnings and, and make it yourself. And it's not even. It's I, like, yeah. and it's MDF as well. Like it's not even like really good quality. Well, I got my brother-in-law to build an MDF little thing this yeah. week, right? With what this, is, what the, is MDF? It's um, I don't know what it stands for, but it's like manufactured compressed. wood. It's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's cheap. That didn't cost me. It didn't that, cost eleven hundred US. It looks better than that. <laughs> Can I just say? But it, Compressed wood. <laughs> <laughs> I'd high five you <laughs> if I could reach you. You hear me, bro? Yeah, bro, oh, bro. For let's bro, real. Let's bro add, bro. Oh, I can't be bothered. Patriarchy. Uh, there we go. Sorry. Teamwork. I hated okay. that. I hated all about. <laughs> I reckon whoever pitched this in the in the boardroom was, you know, worried not just about their job, probably going through a divorce, <laughs> um, had a. Bad batch of, I don't know, ringworm, and they were desperate. They were desperate, <laughs> and they came in. Uh, please, come on, Gil, you gotta do the <laughs> PlayStation. Yeah, you gotta help. Ah, go, guys. Let's slap some X's, O's, triangles, and squares on some IKEA <laughs> and triple the price. This is the type of stuff that, uh, like, that kid that single, like, that 
you go over to their house when you were a kid and they'd be like, Mom, you bitch, make me some pancakes. You're a bitch. <laughs> Fuck you, Mom. <laughs> Give me this fucking PlayStation lounge set, you bitch. Mom. And you'd just be like, <laughs> You can, what? Hey, Ben, yeah. what would it be like if that kid <laughs> was played by renowned actor, philanthropist, and knight, Sir Michael Caine? <laughs> Fuck. Mum, you bitch. <laughs> I would like a PlayStation lounge set. I hate you. <laughs> I don't think you've finished yet. No, I have. Oh, oh I'm done. <laughs> These impressions are getting shorter. <laughs> Much to my chagrin. Just like my patience yes. with you. Just like my wiener when I see your face. Whoa. Just like... Yes. I've got a dog. It's a sausage dog. I've got a sausage dog. That wasn't rude. Yes, you yes. do. You're a rude dude. Moving on. The Quiet Man is a bit of an odd title from Square Enix. Uh, it's an FMV game, full motion video. Yep. Uh, so it transitions between live action video and 3D rendered gameplay. Live action, you mean there's actual actors? Yeah, yeah, filmed stuff and then transition between that and, oh, and gameplay. Let's uh, oh. take a look at the trailer. He slits. <laughs> Go! Wrong address, dog! No one order no chow! Way back there! So his haircut isn't very good. No. It's a bit... <laughs> it's real bad. So this guy is a... He's a quiet man. He doesn't... So he's, wait, he's a quiet man? Yes. Huh. He's and the He's the, the quiet man. So he's... it's not just a clever name. No. <laughs> 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 um, he's, he's deaf. So, and oh, you can just see there that there's transition through to the CG... Uh, Ooh, version of that ooh, that's, scene for that's you to play. shoulder joints work. Jarring. Mm. It's a that's bit. I, I actually found some of the 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 animations and the the models to be a bit bit odd. You played yeah. it, you, so you yeah, had I played a, go. a little bit. Yeah, I had a go. It's, it's on PS4 and uh, PC, everyone. That's right, and it's 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 only a short thing. It's it's a few hours. It's designed to be played just in one sitting, is what they say. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's like. What is it, $13 or something? Um, I love that that's a selling point, Evan. The fact that they've gone, <laughs> sure. oh, it's painful, but hey, get, get it out of the way. Yeah, the yeah. Second. Not that much of your life you're going to waste. Yeah. And <laughs> it's, it's kind of, it's... It's, it's, it's longer than a wank. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting Less. concept, I yeah. guess. The right? lighting in this section is... Yeah. All, it does not look like it's outside. It's kind of like a Color Me Bad video clip. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, it's a very 90s film clip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like the, the hair and the... the hair. It looks like, the, the gameplay bits look like something from 10 years ago, I'd say. Like it's... So, so he's deaf, so the idea is that there's, you, you don't hear the, the dialogue. The game, the sound design in the game is pretty minimal, right? Like it's, it's kind of like you're underwater or something like it's sort of it's muffled and it's obs obscured yeah yeah which is a bit kind of weird because you end up in like you'll end up in a cutscene that goes for minutes and you with a conversation that you don't know you don't know what anybody's saying because you don't lip read because i don't lip read but then there's also but does he <laughs> that's the, that's the yes, fundamental flaw <laughs> yes exactly so you're playing this character who it does understand and is part of this scene but you that you don't know what it is so it's like you're just like stalking someone with a hearing impairment. <laughs> and trying to work out God. what's going on. Yeah. Down alleyways. Uh, this is a morally ambiguous game. I think so. <laughs> is it is the sound design good sound design or would you say it's almost borderline kind of It's it's I, I found it to be inconsistent in in odd ways, right? Like so you some dialogue you can hear loud and clear. What the hell, man? You're stupid or very stupid? And it's subtitled as well. It, it sort of says at the start of the game, like, stuff that's narratively important, you will be able to understand. But what's the logic in that? They've just... There, there is no logic. They've given one rule for another thing and then yeah. they break it? Like, yeah. It's like, well, it, the, the concept would work really well if, if you could 
understand that narratively important stuff without having to break that rule. Yeah, like, it's got to be. It should. Better. It should be apparent what's going on without having to subtitle and then have have people audible. I think. Does anybody use whatever country this is accepted standard sign language with this gentleman in the game? I think there is sign language in the game. So there's people that he knows who can sign. Yes, like US LAN. Yes, example, is that yeah. what that is? I don't know. Probably. It's I America, don't know what American. So. I think it's just called American Sign Language. Uh -huh. Right. I think so. Or ASL. Possibly. Mm, Which is yeah. a different thing over here. <laughs> We've got Auslan. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> but tell them that. Tell them the interesting thing. So, how long has this been out for? Yes. Tell them that. Tell them that interesting thing that they're going to put the patch. Tell them that. The patch. Oh right. Oh. So it's just it's just come out this week, right? It came out on on the first of November. And then there's a patch coming out, like a piece of what DLC or something. It's a patch that that br that that brings out audio. So this this. So you play it the second time. This and new you patch, yeah. You audio. play it the second time, and then you can understand what everyone says. It's like, ah, oh, okay, now I know what's going on. Ugh. But you have to play. I think you have to play it once without it before right. you get access then, to that. And then so you, there's not even really committing to the thing that no. they <laughs> break anyway. There's yeah. no there's no <laughs> commitment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all out the window. It's quite. I. I just. I don't quite get it. <laughs> there was someone that had a great idea, but wasn't entirely sure it was, how to pull yeah, it. He d yeah, he. He pitched the the, the PlayStation furniture, mm. and he went like, <laughs> it didn't go down as well as I thought. But I got this other idea. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you gotta save the day. <laughs> whoever pitched this. Whoever pitched this game, I want to get them on site to pitch stuff for me because if they can make this <laughs> into a full game with a budget, like they can actually, Square Enix to, to make this. Yeah, you're not this telling is me that this is a new thing for you. There's, there's people that will come up with ideas that sound great and then don't <laughs> work in execution and have a lot of money behind them because it does yeah. happen. It does happen, and I'm fascinated by it, Joe. I want to know <laughs> how did he on the ground floor? How did he? How did he pitch this? Okay, so the guy's deaf, can't understand what anyone's saying. Uh, you just got muffled stuff in your ears, and it's a cross between Beyond Two Souls and Streets of Rage with the control scheme of the original Resident Evil. Yes, please. <laughs> What's the gameplay like? Yes. What's the Apparently game? Apparently, quite poor. Ga so, yeah, I. It's it's pr basically it's a, it's a beat 'em up. It's like a brawler, but it's pretty it's average, average, really, yeah. as far as it as far as the gameplay goes. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's so basic and so dumb yeah. and insulting and unresponsive, and there's a there's a lag in your actions. And so. Uh, yeah. And but also, you know, it's sorry, it's frustrating because it's. 30 seconds of beat people up in a scene and, and then, then minutes of, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. of live yeah. action cutscene yeah. uh -huh. with and dialogue that you sometimes can understand but sometimes can't. It's it's a pretty tedious sort of uh, It's reminding thing. me of... Sounds um, great. I've got, <laughs> I'm sure you've, this is a very old game, but I only just th sort of started playing it because it was a free one with my um, my PlayStation Plus membership, oh, yeah. um, which was Heavy Rain. And the first, mm. the first time I started playing it, I can't... I was making up new swear words to yell at the screen because I was like, yeah. I'm not interested in just turning around, <laughs> looking and turning. Oh. And it's taken so long to go, oh, this is supposed to be a murder mystery. Oh, I don't care. I hate looking and turning. I do that enough in my daily activities. Yeah, I, that's I don't true. Do yeah. You're doing it now. Uh, oh, I've got a swivel chair, though. It makes it a lot easier. Oh, yeah. Cheat code. <laughs> the other puzzling thing is that it, it's by Square Enix and Human Head Studios. Human Head Studios did Prey, the, the reboot of Prey. Oh. Um, right. No, hang on, the original Prey. The original, the original. Prey in 2006. Mm, oh, yeah. Which is a great game. The well, maybe they were just like, we've got to put something out, but Red Dead Redemption is coming out. And <laughs> right. Yeah. So are they going to do, is the sequel to this going to be a blind? One, um, <laughs> yeah, but you can see everything. Some things, <laughs> yeah, you can see some things, but not others. <laughs> going to be like a person with no sense of smell. Yes, all oh, right. Smash people up for that. No All factually. <laughs> I saved a little duckling last night. Oh, you, know you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you name it before you gave well, it we've up? We've got a little photo quack. Of it. Little quack. Little quack. Yeah, I'll give you a photo of it. Uh, well, this is a uh, we'll show a photo. I saved a little duck. How long did yeah, it take right. you to think of little quack as a name? <laughs> well, it was little. And a duck, so did it make I was a like, noise? ducks go quack. It did, it went, beep, 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 beep. That's not but I didn't call it little, beep, 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 beep. You should have, though. I prefer that. Really? Yeah. I call it LQ for short. Mm. <laughs> what if um, you call it El Ducco? El Ducco. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like that's, I'll you put know. a little moustache on it. Yeah, well, that would have been cruel. The big oh. problem with the moustache on a duck is the lack of an upper lip. That's true. Oh, shit. Mm. Where would you put it? Yeah, good question. In some ways, a bill is an upper lip. What? That's all. Lips. You can put some hair on a bill. Ducks with lips. Dot com. 
So, um, <laughs> um, that's got eggs. Is that it's got to happen? What is yeah. the? Is the duck going to stay with you indefinitely, or has it no, got I, plans I, to move out? I took it to the animal hospital. Oh, oh that's what nice. It's being, it's being looked after. Is it oh, in the very, duck very ward? Huh? Is it in it's the in the duck, duck ward, yeah. Did you, Did you take it to the duck to get a checkup? That's very good. Uh -huh. Did you take it to a quack? Oh, yeah, it's uh, that's better! The type of a psychiatrist ward. If you've saved an animal, comment below. Beck said we should do more asking people to do things. Yeah, hey, no, this. Good. Sorry. If good. you've said hello, <laughs> then say hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's a self fulfilling. Uh, but only operation. if you're a subscriber to our Patreon. Yeah. No, I, Otherwise, don't anyone, say hello. No, no, no. Anyone can say hello. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to. This, this feels like. Kind of like a missed up. Sorry to get serious about games again. Are we talking about the duck still? No, no. no. <laughs> okay. I'll I was going to go back to the game. This it feels like a bit of a missed opportunity to actually do something meaningful, yeah. uh, something that actually shows you know the perspective of of someone who is deaf and their perspective on the world. But it feels like they've just sort of ballsed it up a bit by by not not following through on this concept. And as far as I know, the development team like the they're not deaf. They had they had like a, a consultant on the the sign language I think but but I, it, this isn't made by deaf people. Is this deaf face? This might be. <laughs> <laughs> Is that too it much? Might be, it might be. Have I gone too far? <laughs> 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 but yes, <laughs> Maybe it deaf is. Face. But yeah, is it, I think I'd be I think pissed off. They're appropriating their culture. There the is, deaf, no, deaf there culture? Is, no, no, sir, there's a. Oh, I don't want to go here. <laughs> there is, here. A, there like is a deaf culture. Like, there is a culture. Like, it, there is. It's a different. It's, a, it's just a, a world that exists, and it's not okay mm. for us to kind of just go. Oh, that's that's amusing as a bit yeah. of gameplay. Yeah, like being deaf is cool. Yeah. Let's make a game about that. Mm. You know, it's yeah. it's very. I don't want to use the p word. It's a bit problematic. Uh oh. oh. Eh, <laughs> eh, eh. Just. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, shall we shall we crack on to the cowboys? Yes, yes, please. Yeah, but just so you know, it's a fun game if you just imagine yourself beating up the members of Color Me Bad. <laughs> in the yeah. video clips. Yeah, just look good at it from that point of view. That's fun. Um, no. Last week saw the release of the much anticipated no, sequel to Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, let's take a look at that. No. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. What do you think? Yeah. Nothing means more to me than this game. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. Ugh. I wish things were different. But it wanted us to change. Trust me, Arthur. Just one more. That's always a goddamn train. I don't want to kill all these food Dutch. Just you. What about loyalty? Loyal to what matters. Do as you're goddamn told. It is us or him. Red Dead Redemption Two. So that's a that's a quick look at Red Dead Redemption Two. This game, um, it's, uh, it's set in America. That's what? true. No. Where's that? Correct. <laughs> Are you asking me? No, it is a you know it's a standard conversation. Oh well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Set in America, and I believe, is it 1899? Uh, that's correct, yes, Thank Julie. Well so done. a lot more telegraph poles and things. And <coughs> yeah, no, no cars, wires, no, no internet. No planes. No, what? no internet. No internet. Um, How do you look up your map on your phone? <laughs> <laughs> you can do that as a companion app to the game. That's silly. Okay. Cowboys didn't have companion apps. No. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you guys think of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 so far? We love it! You've been playing it a lot, you can't stop playing it. Yeah, it's ruining my life. It is my life. It's enriching my life. It's been, good, right? I've been late because I've looked at the time and been like, oh, just, oh, I just want to eat some lamb's fry. Just don't sleep. Just at the saloon. My yeah. problem is I'll start playing it at night and then I go, oh, it's midnight. Yeah. Um, I'm a big Western uh, fan. Uh huh. What's your favorite Western? What's your favorite Western? What's your favorite Western? Yeah. Oh, that's so tough. I don't know. Oh, uh, that, no. It's, a meal it's, for Sister Sarah? No, I kind of like, Unforgiven, maybe? Maybe, uh, Fistful of dollars. 
They're Metallica songs. Is Treasure of Sierra Madre kind of count as a Western, but not really. Just, yeah, I don't know. Uh, good question. This brought out your inner DJ, Dave. Hell yeah, Varmin. You made a Spotify playlist. Yeah, I made a Spotify playlist. What other? On 78. <laughs> it's got... <laughs> <laughs> Gramophone winded up. It's, it's actually, if you don't mind me saying so, rather good. Oh, okay. Uh, we can link to it if you want. I'll put it up on my Twitter later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you can look up my Twitter and you can get it. Things Geraldine, before you say a word, I want to say this. I, <laughs> we have, before the day we film, I have uh, access to a very elite uh, subgroup of people in the world, namely th this mob in Beck. Uh -huh. And we, we talk through what we're going to do the next day on the show, which is today. And yes. last night I hadn't shared this with anyone, and it was my pride and joy. I had been working <laughs> on it for quite a while, and I decided to share with the group my little endeavor my little labor of love that I had done. And I said, here's my Spotify playlist that I play the Cowboys to. And it's got all these songs. And it's rather good if you don't mind me saying so I put it on shuffle. First message back, Geraldine Quinn, who I love. Geraldine Quinn going in, in capitals, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I was well, slaving I, away. I laugh in appreciation. I've spent oh, 20 years watching freaking stand ups. I've learned how to laugh and appreciate. Was there something that I didn't in feel particular that made you. I didn't open it. Oh, right. <laughs> I didn't You were just laughing it. at the what? fact that he'd made a playlist. I thought it was cute. <laughs> I don't make playlists for every game. I, I didn't make one for the no, deaf person. I game. know. <laughs> I thought it was cute. I did wonder whether you had much uh, Australian country on there, like some Buddy Williams or something. Quite a bit of Johnny Dusty. Cash. Uh, Johnny Cash is great. Johnny Cash wasn't alive back then. Is there then, any though? Willie yeah. Nelson? It's got, yeah, it's got some Willie Nelson. Oh, no, it doesn't. Thank you. My. Oh. Oh. Um, I was, was going to put Proud Mary on, but the game doesn't have a paddle steamer, which I'm annoyed about. Yes, it does. Uh, what? It does. Oh. It will. Anyway, oh. spoilers, mm. the game has a paddle steamer. Um, I'm, I'm so glad it does. That's yeah. made it 100% Does it have Cotton Eye Joe on it? It, does. it, it actually does. Cotton Eye Joe. Joe. Oh, thank you. One person appreciates <laughs> my fucking efforts. Thank you for <laughs> checking it. It's got um, Knights of Sidonia. Oh, that's news. a great song. That's a great song to gallop to. Yeah, it's a real... Wild, Wild West track. And it's got all the themes from all the Westerns. It's got Magnificent Seven, High Noon, uh, Gunfight at the Old OK Corral. You know, I don't need a uh, playlist to have chaperone. a bloody High Noon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dad. What, what do you say? Uh, Reefer. <laughs> you ever heard of it? It's cool, man. 420, what's up? What, what's Lazy? 420, what? What's I that? don't know, man. Are you okay? Um, no. But it's it's also got, yeah, Johnny Cash, like some of his covers, like Rusty Cage, the Soundgarden cover. Mm. And that's a fantastic song. You, you know, so obviously if it was the music from the era, it would just be the entertainer. No, it'd all. be like Jimmy uh, Rogers. Dun -dun, dun -dun. Yes, it would. Uh, yeah, Jimmy Rogers. That's my country music. Um, and... Uh, I quite like it. It has Kenny Rogers and Loggins which, and oh. Nelson. No, Kenny Nelson isn't a person. <laughs> which Ken, which Kenny Rogers did you What the fuck use? is going on? <laughs> well. They're just, they're just talking about a Spotify playlist now. Them. This isn't a game. Win. This, is, this is not part of the game. I know. Oh, yeah. You can make oh, it part of the game. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but can we talk about games? <laughs> <laughs> I like the way this, we have it a split in the group and two people are talking games and the other person is <laughs> Kenny Rogers. Rogers. <laughs> I really like this voice actor. Oh yeah? Uh, yes, I like Arthur's voice. We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. I'm loving the fact that he's a morally ambiguous character. Mm. Uh, I like the fact, as we were saying before we started shooting, that you do get thrown in the deep end a little bit with some stuff. Mm. Like, you're not quite sure how a story is going to pan out or if you're going to lose your goddamn bear pelt. Yeah, that freaking bear pelt. Freaking bear pelt. So there's a <laughs> legendary animal, which is a great big bear, that you have a bit of a, you know, revenant kind of moment with um. and you kill it. No, well, I mean, if when this isn't a big spoiler, and you have your your wonderful legendary bear pelt, and it's on the back of your horse, and you're looking after it, and I even knew that people were losing it earlier, like they'd put it down wow. at the camp, and it would disappear, and I was like, well, it's not leaving my my horse. I got to the point where I saved a drunk preacher, and I was had him on the back of the horse while I was carrying the bear pelt, and I was whistling my horse all the way back on foot to the camp, and it still disappeared at some point. Oh, friggin' I don't know where it is. Friggin' hate it. 
Bear pelt stories. I, I, I will share mine if, uh, if Please. you Please. care to hear a fella Legendary talk about a bear pelt. pelt. <laughs> so um, I'm, uh, I, I did the same mission, and then I have the bear pelts on the back of the horse. Mm -hmm. It's a massive thing, and it's a legendary pelt. I'm going, oh, I'm in the money. I'm going to be able to buy myself a new hat, because I know you got problems with this as well, Geraldine. My yes. hat went missing, too. So all of a sudden, I'm getting on my horse to go back to sell it, and then there's a lady who's trapped under a horse. And then I, she goes, help me, and I, I lifted the horse off her, and then she goes... Very Les Miserables, but with a horse. Uh, yes. A yeah, yes. It's literally... It was very similar. They didn't bu <laughs> burst into song about it. Unfortunately, it was a book fest. <laughs> oh, that so, so anyway, so she goes. I need help to get back to my where I live, <laughs> and I've gone. Uh, okay, well, you can. Uh, I'll ride you back home because her horse is dead on top of her, right? Mm. So I'll help you get back to where you need to go. And she's gone great. And then she goes to my horse and goes, "Oh, I can't get on with that stinky bear pelt on it." Can she didn't say that exactly? I'm paraphrasing, but she needed room to sit on it. The horse, not the bear pelt. That would be silly. Mm -hmm. Unless it was a flying car. How can you be pelt. paraphrasing something, but it's just taking forever? Funny you should mention that, because I took so long rearranging the bear pelt, and I put it beside a tree that I would recognize so I could come back and, oh. and ride her home. Exactly. So it's, I've taken so long doing this, as I have describing it, that yes. she's gone, oh, fuck it, I'll walk myself. <laughs> Again, paraphrasing. Uh -huh. So she starts trotting <laughs> off, and I'm like, no, 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 no. I've got the bear pelt by a tree now. You can get on my horse. And I've, like, run up to her, and uh, she won't talk to me. She's giving me the silent treatment. Uh -huh. There's no prompt, like, the trigger to uh -huh. talk. So I thought, should I lasso her and put her on the horse? <laughs> and I thought, I think that would be antisocial. <laughs> Even in this day and age, to lasso a woman and put her on a horse. Even in 2018. <laughs> <laughs> I'm following her down the street going, I, I swear I was just getting the horse ready for you and then uh, she wouldn't talk to me and then suddenly it goes, your bear pelt has gone. Oh. Like a message. They were kind enough to notify me. Oh. But I was only 10 meters away from it. And I went, no, it's, it's at the tree. And I went back and looked around the tree and the bear pelt wasn't there. Oh, no. And, uh, Tough break, kid. I didn't have any of those problems. Things probably ate it. You've still got your pelt? I Legendary took it to a trapper. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there are pigs. Um, but that's just me, you know, I just know how to play computer games. Yeah, you're... <laughs> <laughs> you know how to win a fight in a car park? <laughs> you know how to f save a baby duck? I do. He oh. does. That was a bad example if you want to show um, yeah, yeah. It's, for me, it's easier... I love the game. Mm. I love the pace. Uh, it's easier to say what I don't love because I love so much about it. Mm. And what I don't love... And this is being a real nitpicker. Negative, negative Lenny. It's just the controls. The way that Arthur controls is like super floaty and su it's just not good. And right. so many times, and it's quite complicated with all the contextual buttons that pop up. Mm. Yeah. That yeah. So often you'll press the wrong button. And when you try and move Arthur, he'll like, just to move, just to get him to turn around on the spot, he'll kind of do this like, uh, he just kind of has this weird yeah, kind of turning yeah. circle and oh, well, he yeah. controls like shit. Really right. early on, I forgot what was shooting quickly. And then I yeah. turned, and, and it, was, it was that really early campaign right at the start when you're supposed to be surprising the O'Driscolls. And I just went, bang! <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to creep and just press the wrong button. Yeah. And then everyone's like, oh, there's someone there. And yeah. so we're trying to win with this oh. massive cliff and we're just getting picked off like... Some kind of reverse Gallipoli, it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the story is really to great. Irish child services leave. The voice acting is amazing. It's really, really good. Just the whole, like, we've gone from a game that has shit sound design to a game that has amazing sound design. Like, mm. it's one of the few, there's only a few games that you can just fully appreciate the work that's gone into the pure sound design of it mm. and creating that world through sound. I do yeah. really like the fact that you've got to kind of look after yourself and your horse yeah. and build yeah. up your bond with your horse and c you can calm it down if it... And there's a good spooky. balance with those with mechanics. Like, it doesn't feel overbearing. Like, sometimes with San Andreas, you were like, oh, I've got to fucking work out mm. so I don't uh, get fat. Yeah. Mm. Or I don't really even want to eat burgers, you know what I mean? But with this one, it feels... I don't know, the, the pacing is right enough that you do want to spend more time with it. Yeah. Mm. There is quite a bit of micromanagement, though, that I don't know if it's um, entirely 
great and makes the whole experience more real and visceral or whether it's kind of just a, a, a kind of an irritant that kind of crops up every now and again. Like, you know, well, the balance, for, right? for, for example, when they were making Grand Theft Auto 4, it was a big step up from three. They were thinking of making it so that you had to pull into a petrol station and fill your car up with petrol every now and again. The, the cars would run out of fuel. And yeah. Quickly, yeah. they just decided that would just be an irritant and would get mm. in the way of the gameplay. I think they've kind of forgotten that you know, game, gamers need to be free to have fun and have the story, you know, rollick along. And, you know, you don't, do you really need to, you I, know, you, brush your horse's hair? It's kind of fun, but do you have to do it? Do you have to, you know, pat them all the time? Actually, you know, all of those things are good. But I don't, I don't think you do have to. <laughs> you don't have it just to. improves yeah. the... It actually just speeds it up. Yeah. But yeah. you can get fat or skinny. Yes. Which yes. changes like your agility and your strength. Don't eat. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing tastes as good as being skinny after the feels. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm having issues with an eating disorder. There's help out there. Please get help. But like you know, you guys have both mentioned. Uh, all three of you have mentioned the horses, and I, I think um, Daryl Braithwaite is fantastic. Oh, what did they, you call? Wait, what did you call your horse? Uh, I called mine first Greg. I've got three horses. Oh, oh sh okay. mm -hmm. Someone's doing well. I got Greg, uh, 50, and uh, Donut. And what did you call your horse? Uh, I've got one mare called Dixie, named after the Dixie Chicks. Oh, and I just got an, a new Arabian, because mine died, uh, oh. called Fuckhead. Uh, <laughs> hang on, wait. I tried to call my... I know. Oh, I tried to call my horse Felcher. Yeah. And it said it was rude. What? Oh. So you gotta spell it spell it. You gotta do be uh. creative with the spelling. I didn't think that PS It's very Gaelic sound. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's Gaelic. Maybe if I'd done it with a PH it might have been alright. But I ended up going for Doctor Strange Love. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's like cool. a fuck a fuck head. It's very yeah. It's like it's Welsh. C H yeah. It's like a Welsh fuck head. My name yeah. is Welsh. Huh. That's great. Are you a horse? Yeah. <laughs> um well, you There are element there are points where I was just like, this, it feels so authentically West, like a Western mm. movie. Mm -hmm. I just loved it. Like, I'm in Saint-Denis. Saint Saint-Denis. I'm in Saint-Denis right now. <laughs> and uh, and I, was, I was running away from the cops and going through the alleyways. And as I was doing it, the music subtly li lifted. It was kind of this great little chase music. And you were running through and I was like, this feels Fucking great. Yeah. great. Even just those little, it's those little details. Yeah. Mm. And the visuals are incredible as mm. well. Like it's beyond anything else. Yeah. It's, especially, you know, for the, for the consoles, it just looks. It feels like a next gen title, you know, whatever that means. Well, I, yeah. kind, of, I kind of felt like with the first one, which I played a lot to the point of zombies. And yeah. um, I did feel, I, I, though I loved the first one, that I got to a point where I did just feel like I was kind of Assassin's Creed grinding. Um, mm. Or uh, that every every stranger on the side of the road, there were maybe two or three different variations of yeah. the position. Mm -hmm. And this one's feeling a lot more. There, is, that's a good point. Interesting. There are so many different mo character models. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah, and, um, we and weather types. Yeah, weather type. The weather is yeah. so good in it. The weather systems. Yeah. yeah. The lighting. Is, the lighting. The clouds. I haven't the seen physics, the lighting. The like it, it's it's all very realistic and very stunning. Yeah. I wanna, I'm. Here, but I want to go play Red Dead Redemption. Right? <laughs> I'm gonna play it when I get home. Yeah, I, I can't stop talking like this. <laughs> I am. Um, you mean the... you're talking like this? Listen ben. there, fella. <laughs> so I haven't played much of this, and I didn't play the first one. I've I've played some Grand Theft Auto, but whenever I play Grand Theft Auto, I tended not to do the missions and just drive around in cars until the cops came. And yeah, you've got a lot of bubbling rage inside you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, is this is this similar in that you can just go and just fuck around, or do you? You so much just so. doing the missions. You or? could spend, uh, like, you. At this point, I think there are still people that haven't really touched the missions. Yeah, really. And are just hunting. I wouldn't mind touching. Right. Hunting your, is huge. Your mission and just hunting. What? Yeah. So you're you're doing missions. <laughs> you're. I do declare. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you something. I'm fixing to give you a licking. Licking mean it's different to um, oral sex. Oh, it's right. Different back then. It meant what did it mean back then? Punch them in the face. Oh, I'll give, I'm nah. going to It was a simpler you, time. Sir. I'm going to lick you hard, and you'll be licked by me. You guys punched your horses in the face? I punched my horse accidentally. in the face accidentally. I accidentally right. shot the bartender in Valentine right in the chest when I was supposed to shoot a, 
a drink. Uh, oh. That was pretty funny. I rode yeah. straight into a tree and uh, both me and my horse oh. fell down and got very hurt, but That's... then we were okay. There's a big learning curve and there's stuff that the game does not tell you. I ran over a dog. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. If you punch a horse, if you punch a horse in the face, I ran over a dog. I, I ran, ran over, over a wolf <laughs> at one point. Uh, I ran over a squirrel. <laughs> no, I think it was a, a Labrador in my case. Oh right, okay. <laughs> it was a train station. Oh, oh, sorry. I was getting attacked by wolves and I ran over one. Uh, that's realistic, I guess. Oh, I like the way the the horse gets spooked when there are predators mm. around and stuff like that. Oh yeah. It's a really interesting um, era historically to look mm. at generally because I think because because the western is a genre of film and. And um, the kind of folk tale lore quality of country music that's gone on for a hundred years. It's so, um, it feels like a genre more than a time. And when yeah. we've come from more, uh, you know, Australia coming from an invasive colonial background uh, and having this UK kind of influence, when we think of that same period of time, it weirdly doesn't seem to, to fit because it's, mm. like, it's like the film version of country and of the film ver version of the Western of America. We can't quite place it compared to that. It's, it's like when an American turns up in a Sherlock Holmes story and you go, wait, what, who, what, when is this happening? Yeah. Who is the king then? What? <laughs> um, I find that really intriguing that I've got this disconnection between when this is and what I know was roughly happening yeah, right. on the other side of the Atlantic. See, on the other side, because I uh, like grew up with Westerns and my family are Texans. And my I actually come from a line of cowboys. <laughs> Do you come so from? My grandfather was the first to so not be a cowboy. So we're yeah, insulting well. you right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Oh. You're, um, how, do you, how do you feel about them? Appropriating your people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what I mean I like is, it. <laughs> it, it doesn't feel like as real a thing with a particular pinpoint in history, perhaps, to people from who aren't American. Yeah, I think it still illustrates like the time. It was such a. That's why I think it's interesting. Interesting time, mm. because it's kind of like electricity is starting industrial to become, revolution. Yeah, oh, in America, right, really. Right. It's really mm. it's such a rich period of time where you're like mm. and like. So this land is completely new to West, like to, I say Westernism, by which I mean, you know, colonizers, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. It has an astounding level of attention to detail, like mm -hmm. right down to when you go into a general store and you just pull out a catalogue and you look through it and it's just immaculately recreated from the ear and has ads for soap and stuff like that. And but you can also go to the shelf and just browse the shelf. Yeah. yeah. As well as go to the, ca the catalogue. Yeah, yeah, you can tell that Rockstar has put all of the money that they've they've reinvested that all the zillions of cash that they made from GTA Online. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it's still making. Game. It's yeah. I mean it's oh. huge amounts of money. And they've put the proper amount of time into developing it properly yeah. rather than rushing it out the door. It's just nice to see. Bloody yeah. marvelous. It's nice to see a single player game. Yeah. Folks, like I can pause this love a game. Single player, yeah. Hey, I've got a question. Yes. yes. You you were talking about how the, the controlling Arthur is a bit sort of clunky sometimes. Mm. Have you, did you try playing any first person, you can play the game in first person mode, did you play that at all and is, is that worthwhile? Is I haven't really played a lot of it, no. Didn't feel right. No. no. Uh, having come vibe, isn't it? a pedigree of all the GTA games and the previous Red Dead Redemption, yeah, it just didn't feel right. Yeah. I think I prefer over the shoulder Me too. Stuff. It seems more like sense for a game like something. this. I feel like I know yeah. where I am in the space mm. more. Yeah. yeah. And that's the... That's the best thing about it, I would say, is the world. And so you want to see as much as the world, yeah. your character interacting with it as possible. Yeah. Mm. And the, the hand doesn't look quite right with the gun in front of you. It just kind of looks a bit off for some reason. Mm. Yeah. Can I do that thing where I talk about history a bit? Sure, yes. Is so this the thing that you what? do? Well, yeah, I've done this a few times. I've opened yeah. that, that, history that hour. hornet's nest already. Oops. Well, David's this is, history hour. This isn't it's about an hour of the show where David talks about <laughs> history. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually not the second one. This is the third one. Yes, um, correct. So this is Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption came out before. And the one before that was Red Dead Revolver. Yeah. Which was a profoundly ordinary game. Was and it a similar, like, open world sort of, same sort of game? No, yeah. no? or it's very no, it was small. A, right. Yeah, the, it was open, though. It was an open map. Well, if it was an ordinary game, that may explain the redemption part of the second uh, version. Right. Like, yeah. They went from revolving to awesome. being redeemed. Got it. we got to do something to fix this. Uh, it was terribly. Red Dead Revolver was <laughs> not an open map. 
Was it, it was a town. You were able to walk around the town, but the town was effectively just a menu. Been a long time. Did you enjoy it? Did you get into it? No, no. It was I, a terrible game. I was so hungry for a cowboy game, a Western game, that I, I ate it up and played it. And it was it was like eating a really bad, stale meal. I played Gun. Oh, Gun was all right. If you're interested in, in writing in and contributing something, I, I would like to create a kind of a, a list of games like this that are uh, actually... Uh, false sequels, where uh, it's a second one, but it's really a third one. So it starts off with one name, the sequel has another name, and then they just start numbering them. There are three that I know of. Anyone care to... Explain yourself. <laughs> so Red Dead, Revolver, yes. and then they started numbering them from Redemption. Dark Souls was Demon Souls, and then they were well, Dark Souls, and then they started numbering them. Yeah, right. Can anyone tell me the third one? It came out this month. <laughs> Latest in the franchise, number six. This but it's really number seven. Soul Calibur from the background. Oh, right. That was Soul Edge. Oh, then it right. became Soul Calibur, and then they started numbering them. So there's only three that I, I can think of, but if, if honestly, if anyone would like to write in and let us know, I'd be interested to yeah, hear more. Right, yeah, If anyone knows anything. David's History Hour. It's an hour of David talking about history, but it's not actually history. It's the history of the game. It doesn't have any real historical relevance at all. We'll be on that. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> also, it was an hour, but we've edited it down to. Yeah, it was definitely minutes. an hour. I am <laughs> ancient. <laughs> uh, hey, he didn't uh, have a beard when we started this episode. I, yeah. Oh, did the, I? Thanks so much for uh, watching the show. If you um, did, if you didn't watch it, then f whatever. Hey, that we I talked about games. We oh. talked about games most of this, this episode. We did it. How about that? What did but you we think did about? talk about? We talked about a duck for a bit. Yeah, we talked about. Yeah, there was there were a few little. Uh, there was some dick side tracks. Um, uh, before we go, we have to thank our top patrons. Uh, so big thanks to Lachlan Chapman, Cameron McCorris, Ben Lovett, Chris Cheeky, Josh Apter, Shemeth Winteratney, Alex Chom, Christian Sanchez, <laughs> Jake Robertson, you and Adam. Happy Mexican Day oh, Adam of the Dead, Jim, Christian. Sir. Jake Robertson, Paul Barbie, what was that? What? Happy Mexican Day of the Dead, Christian Sanchez. Mex Mexican, Mexican. When's Mexican, Mexican Day of the Day Dead? Day, November the 1st. Yeah, right, okay. Um, Can we edit me out? If you... If you want to hear your name right out on the show, uh, you can jump on the $20 Patreon tier. Uh, go to patreon.com slash gamey game. Uh, you also get a mug on the $20 tier. I don't know if anyone's... If, if, you know, if you're interested in mugs, we haven't talked about mugs for a while, but if you sign up yeah. for the $20 tier, you do get a mug. So if that it's really pushes good for you over the edge to, to like signing up. Um, they're cool mugs. We just got a new box full of mugs. It's really good mm. for hiding all the booze. <laughs> uh, they wouldn't is this give coffee? Me, they wouldn't give me cider today on the grounds that it was midday. <laughs> Ridiculous. It's a bit early. It's you can also uh, check out uh, Dave Callan's Spotify playlist, uh, which is a great companion yeah. to the uh, Red Dead. I, I'm more excited about plugging this spot. Sorry, that's rude. I was, I'm more excited about don't never point a gun at someone's face. <laughs> okay. That's a rule. Uh, more, more of a guideline. <laughs> but I uh, am more interested in plugging my Spotify playlist than any show, any Twitter handle, any <laughs> fucking hashtag I've ever created. Yeah. This Spotify playlist is my uh, life and joy. Thank you very much, yes, Geraldine. Is his the Dixie Chicks on tears. it, though? Not yet. What? Thank you, yes. It's a, it's a work in progress. That's We'll put a link in the uh, description so you can check that out. Also, if you've got any, own, if any of your own suggestions for what might oh, yeah. be a great, uh, a great uh, companion soundtrack to yeah. uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, any good cowboy <laughs> music. Also, um, <laughs> also be sure to check out duckswithlips.com. There'll be... Uh, lots of ducks, lots of lips. That's a callback. I don't know what it'll be. We'll do How many lips? Back. How many ducks? You will be surprised. <laughs> Number six will shock you. <laughs> yeah. uh, thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. 20 times <laughs> these ducks with lips shocked you. <laughs> these are the ducks with lips the government oh, no. doesn't want you to know. That's how, that's the voice I'm going to hear in my oh. head every time I read a clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> Professor oh. Jordan Peterson destroys... Ah, oh, my hair! No. Oh. Lips hate him. I missed the camera. Ducks, three ducks. Find out why. He's left hated. Find out.